Okay, this is uh, the reading from IELTS book number nine. This is reading text number two of the four texts that you that you get. Um, as I do with all these videos, I haven't seen this test before. We're just going to try and answer the questions within the one hour. So it's uh, eight minutes to three. And um, so eight minutes to four, we should be able to have finished this test. Um, and I will be able to, and I no doubt will make mistakes just like you do. So I never quite get a nine, uh, usually 8.5, because if you even make one mistake in the IELTS exam, you cannot get a nine. Um, the first thing we'll start with is skimming. So you skim the text, read it quickly. Um, but don't forget that it's sometimes necessary, a good idea to read the, the, um, some of the question types first. It depends on what type of questions. Have a look at my other videos, which, which questions are not supposed to be read beforehand. Uh, but these questions, if we look over here, um, we can read beforehand. Now, as you can see here, this reading text has no title, so we are completely in the dark as to what it's talking about. So in this case, it might be worth reading the first paragraph and then coming to the questions and then skimming and finding the, the keywords here. So let's have a look at the first paragraph. Speech and communication resulting in a detrimental effect on their ability to learn in school. This is likely to have major consequences for the individual and the population as a whole. Okay, so the New Zealand Ministry of Health has found from research claim that 6 to 10% of children are affected by hearing loss. Okay, so it's something related to hearing loss and auditory de function deficient. So other auditory, so it's something related to hearing and auditory is the related to hearing. So we get the general idea that it's talking about people with hearing difficulties. Okay, now let's have a look at these question types. Um, so you need to match the questions, the sections with the questions. So which section contains the following information? So an account of a national policy initiative, so an account. So it's more like a story, a story of how, how it happened. A description of a global team effort, so that's that's very important that the word team here. Hypothesis, so a theory as to one reason behind the growth in class, classroom noise, okay. Demand for suitable world worldwide regulations, a list a list of medical conditions. Some children more at risk from noise than others, and the estimated proportion in New Zealand. Now we we've already seen that uh, six to ten percent. So straight away we can we can say that this number six is A. So you've already done that one. And let's have a look at these questions down here. So no more than two words from the passage. So for what period of time has hearing loss in children been studied in New Zealand? So a period of time and the keyword is studied here. In addition to material which Machinery noise, so in addition, what other type of noise can upset children with autism? That's important. Um, what term is used to describe the hearing problems of children who have been not been diagnosed? So what term, what name is used to describe the hearing problems of children who have not been diagnosed? Okay. And what part of the New Zealand disability strategy aims to give, give school children equal opportunity? New Zealand disability strategy Notice these are capitalized, so they're going to they're going to mention it in the text. So, what part of it aims to give students, uh, school children equal opportunities? Okay, equal opportunity. Let's have a look. If there's any other questions, okay, write the correct letters. The list below includes factors contributing to customers. Which two are mentioned? Okay, so we wouldn't look at all of those. Um, that's not going to help us to answer to to um, scan or skim. Sorry. Uh, this text. So let's ignore that question. Let's have a look at this. What's the writer's overall purpose? Okay, and there's only one answer correct here. So again, there's going to be three distractors. So that's the type of question I would also ignore until I've read the text. So let's read the, read the text now. And we're not going to read the whole text. We're going to underline the keywords. Um, those are usually um, capitalized uh, letters and also what I call honey words, they are things like uh, linkers, however, nevertheless, in addition, on the other hand, for example. So we're going to be looking at those. We're not going to read in detail. 
except the first sentence. So the first sentence we are going to read in detail, but everything else we'll just underline the keyword uh, keywords like Nelson and Solly, and I'll show you some of the honey phrases that I talk that uh, I find. So a preliminary study, major concern, classroom noise. We've heard that before. Let's just go back up here because we'll have to look at that perhaps. Major concern, okay. Okay, so notice I'm going very quickly. This is a type of honey phrase. This all amounts to, so it means we have to, re we will have to look back at uh, these factors that they're talking about here if I want to understand what they mean by heightened activity. Um, this word particularly is a type of honey phrase. Okay, now let's look, read the first uh, sentence. Children with ordinary function deficit are potentially failing to learn to their maximum potential because of noise levels generated. Okay. All right, so noise control engineering. International Institute, sorry. New Zealand again. Okay. All right. Um, while the detriment not limited to children expects disability, those with a disability that are the processing of speech can be extremely vulnerable. So processing speech that's probably something related to this autism uh, which we've got over there. So have a look at that and maybe we'll see something. I'm just gonna put D here so we can remember to look back there. Um oh, there we got this so autistic Okay. And number oh here we go autism again, so maybe we should look at E as well for number eight. Autism is considered a neutral a genetic and lifelong disorder that can cause dystrophy. Information is processed. The way information is processed. Okay, according to Janzen, Janzen. Does not okay. But okay, next one. The attention deficit is on you. On you. For sustaining attention effort. Screen on unimportant information. Okay, right, there's no words here. Right. Speech and communication difficult to isolate and process. High levels of background noise. Okay, in particular, as a honey phrase, um, invisible. To, uh, we said something about invisible. Uh, not being diagnosed. So let's just have a look at G perhaps because it might be related. New Zealand government disability strategy, we've seen that before. So let's have a look at H for number 10. That's not the answer, we're just looking back at them. Has a wide ranging consultation process. Okay. Objective 3. Term. So it's an interesting name here. Yeah. That's a honey phrase. But especially. Okay. Let's go down a little bit more. No. In the process of formulating their own standards of control and protection. Okay. It's imperative that is a honey phrase. Okay. So. It's a bit 
trickier than normal. Let's see. Uh, an account of national policy initiative. Let's do number three, a hypothesis, so it should be easier. One reason. So we've got this modern teachings, practices, all of that. That's a hypothesis. So they think these are the reasons why they all contribute to the number. Our children unable to comprehend the teacher's voice. A global team effort. Mm. That I must admit. Uh -huh. International. To evaluate noise and... Okay, so there's international, so that must be C. Global team effort. Demand for suitable worldwide regulations. Demand. Worldwide regulations. Uh, only limited attention appears to be given to those students explaining other disciplines. Taking into account of appropriate international standards for power. I don't even know what that word means, to be quite honest. But I have a general idea. So it looks like a demand. It is imperative that. So imperative is it is necessary for it. So that's I. Let's do medical conditional. Yes, we saw that. Sustained effort, effort and persistence, organization skills, and inhibition, disinhibition. These are so find it difficult to screen and unimportant and focus on everything rather than attending to a single activity. Background them, it becomes a major distraction. So that's F. So we've just got to find an account of a national policy initiative. New Zealand disability, so that's New Zealand rather than international. I'm going to take a risk and say this is H, just because it's an account, it explains the national policy. In the I think that's it. Um, right, let's have a look at the next one. So, running out of time here. So, for what period of time has hearing loss and school training been studied in New Zealand? Okay. I must have, I didn't see a number related to that period of time. It's a bit tricky. But no doubt.
thought you you noticed something that I didn't. It's usually going to be higher up. Oh, there it is, over two decades. See, it's so important to underline not just the letters, uh, sorry, not just the digits, but also the letters. So for two decades, you can just write the number two. Okay, in addition to machine learning, what other type of knowledge can upset children with autism? So we've got this autism now. Tell me about machinery. These experiments often found sounds such as crowd noise and noise generated by machinery painful and distressing. So crowd noise, what other type of noise? What term is used to describe the hearing? We have not been diagnosed, so we say that's G because oops, sorry. What's happening? So G is used to describe the hearing problems of children who have not been detected. Hearing problems of children. So the hearing problems of children are invisible disabilities. Okay, what part of the New Zealand disability strategy aims to give children equal opportunity? Equal opportunities. What part of this strategy? Objective three of the strategy. Okay, now let's go down here. Put the correct letters in boxes 11 and 12 on your answer sheet. Okay, so I do remember modern teaching methods. That's one up here. Let's have a look at it. And modern teaching practices, organization of desks in the classroom, poor classroom acoustics, is there anything like that? Large class sizes. Mechanical means of ventilation cooling systems. Uh, ventilation um, air conditioners such as air conditioning units, cooling systems. So those two modern teaching practices. Okay, and correct choose the correct letter A, B, C, or D. What is the right overall purpose in writing this article? Competitive methods provide solutions for overly noisy solution. That's not that one. It's not providing any solutions. A care a increase awareness. It's closest to that one promote. As a model for other countries to follow, no. Let's have a look at the conclusion because that's usually where you would find the answer for such a question. And it is imperative that needs of these children are taken into account, setting appropriate international standards. So I think that's an increased awareness. Only limited attention appears to be given. So we're going to go with C. All right, next one. Are we ready? Venus in transit. Now, let's do it with this one here. Sorry. So thank goodness now we've got a picture and we've got. Um, a title, which is easy, makes it easier now. So Venus, the planet, and uh, you can see it there in front of the sun, if you've seen that image before, and it's worth reading this. So June 2004, some of the first sessions, such a passage such as a transit of the planet Venus across the face of the sun, as seen in the picture. For 122 years, transits have helped shape our view of the whole universe, and they explain why. So these people explain why. 122 years across the face of the sun, June 2004. Okay, now let's have a look at some of these questions. 
which paragraph contains the information. Examples of different ways in which parallax principle has been applied. Description of event which prevented a transit observation. Description of event. Statement of potential future discoveries. Potential future discoveries. Leading on from trans observations. Description of physical states connected with Venus. Which early instruments failed to overcome physical states connected with Venus. Okay, let's have a look at these. Correct person. So, distance of the Sun from the Earth. Observations of Venus. Very directly right. And so, distance could be worked out by comparing observations. Of, comparing observations of trans distance from the Sun. Bio key as the Sun. Time taken by distance from the sun. Time taken by Atlantic around the sun depends on its distance. Good, he would miss the transport. Unable to make any calculations. Unable to make any calculations. Oh, missed it. Couldn't make any calculations. Okay, let's have a look at this. So these are the type of questions I wouldn't look at. True, false are not given because at least two or three at least will be incorrect. So that's not something you should be looking at. Let's focus now on the text itself. Remember the first uh, sentence, read the first sentence, and then other words like capitalized words or numbers underlined, as well as these honey words, linkers particularly, and adverbs that um, talk about the whole sentence. So we've got this June, 8th of June, more than half, half the population of the world treated a rare historical event. Okay, six hours. Of the sun, transit to Venus, underline these ones with uh, um, inverted commas, 6th of December 1882. American astronomer mm -hmm. went to South Africa to observe the event. Three that's interesting. I shouldn't be reading all of the. I suppose that's, that is really the first paragraph as well, so it's okay to read the whole thing, but not now quickly, you don't have time. So for centuries, that's a period of time useful to know. <coughs> Mr. Halley, that was November 1677. Again, Halley. Mercury, St. Helena, South Pacific. You realize that you saw some by time in the transit. A astronomical unit. Earth from the sun, good. And I was aware that A was one of the most fundamental of all astronomy measurements. Most fundamental of all. Okay, Kepler, 17th century. Sun, but no problem. The goal was to, it's useful. Sun again, solar system. However, very useful. Halley realized that Mercury was. Got this parallax angle, which is useful because we've seen it up here with this parallax principle. As Venus was closer to Earth, mm -hmm. had it worked out using Venus. Okay. One part. Um, but there was a problem, unlike those. Nevertheless, these are all very useful. Didn't survive to see either. Inspired by Halley's suggestion of a way to pen down the scale, teams of British and princes versus India and Siberia. Things weren't, but things weren't helped by Britain, France being. Ocean French warship Argentine. Undaunted, that's an adverb. That's an adverb. Adjective, but it's related to the rest of the sentence. Mauritius and Madagascar. Philippines, ironically, a nice adverbial to 50,000 kilometers. Okay. Why are they as, as precise? But drop effect dogged 
problem, cause problems by. Mm -hmm. This is due to the second problem, these type of honey phrases like uh, the first, the second, the third, very useful. Mm -hmm. Made it impossible to obtain accurate readings. Okay, that's related somewhere to. Might be number 21, somewhere in E. There's also another one that would prevent a transit observation, maybe E as well here. Both, but as was David Harton, and the results of the terms have been. Director of Berlin Observatory, and the EU, he got that. Reasonably accurate. Yes. Parallax principle can be extended. It's just I'm doing that because different ways. Okay, here we got which paragraph contains upon. So that's F because that parallax principle. Um, can be extended to do these other things. Um, also, this type of punctuation, m, m dashes are useful. They often explain quite important information between them. Okay. Pave butts have paved the way for what might be the most vital break for detecting Earth-sized planets. Okay. Yeah, that's quite a lot of underlining in this case compared to the last reading. Let's see if we can do it. A description of event that prevented a transit observation. Let's just go back to E and see. Any were precise. They were dogged by, tr which prevented transit observation. Prevented it rather than. Okay, they couldn't get right timings, but they they weren't prevented from it. So I don't think that's it there. Prevented transit observation. You expect it to be cloud or something. Closest one, but oh, I can't find it. Aha, uh -huh. the ship's pitching and rolling ruled out any attempt to make accurate observations. So he was perceiving the British, the British were besieging his observation site in India. So he went on a warship. He saw a wonderful transit. But ruled out any attempt to make accurate observations. He saw it, but he couldn't make some. I think that means scientific observations. So you can see it with your eyes, but you can't make scientific observations. So it's a little bit tricky, this one. Let's just double check it's not this one. Accurate timings. Okay, so that must be D. That's a bit tricky. Statement about potential future discoveries leading on from transit observations. Potential future discoveries. Potential future discoveries from transit observations. That we see, saw that down here. 
and it was um, detecting Earth-sized planets orbiting the stars. Paved the way for. So that's G here. I'm just sorry, I haven't realized now. Help you. Don't know what happened there. Later. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, and then a description of physical states connected with earlier failed to overcome. Okay, there we there we have this this black drop effect. So that's E there because of this uh, Venus exhibits a halo of light when it's seen outside the sun's disk. Thick layer of gases, that's the problem. So it's got this thick layer of gases. Okay, he calculated the distance from the tip. Fair degree of accuracy. I think this is Haley. Distance from this of the sun from the earth using Venus. He realized that some time in the transit. Okay, this I will measure what the distance of the Earth from the Sun. Halley observed, so that's Halley. That's A. He understood the distance could be worked out by comparing observations of transit. Ooh. Hang on, he realized that from different latitudes, the distance of the person differ by the time in the transit from the two widely separate locations. Teams of astronomers could calculate the parallax angle. Oh god, okay, so. Hang on. Distance could be worked out by comparing observations of transit. Comparing. That's A. That's A. Ooh. Okay, well here we've got past perfect here, which is talking about the earlier. So this is later, this is earlier. In the 17th century, Mr. Kepler had shown that the distances of the planets from the sun governed their orbital speeds, which is easily measurable. So he worked it out. Wow, it's tricky to tell to work it out, but that's Kepler. Oh, goodness. Okay. He realized that the sun, the time taken by planet to go around the sun depends on its distance from the sun. I'm taking a moment to go around the sun depends on its distance from the sun. That's exactly what he did. Show the distance. Orbital speeds. Okay. Let's be again because <coughs> B is. And the distances from yeah. Okay, um, we know that Mr. Gentil couldn't do it because he had problems with the French being at war with the British. So he witnessed the event but unable to make. So that's this Mr. Gentil. See, so Johann Eck. Where is this man? Finally, determine the value of A based on these three power measurements. So these, ooh, relating to something up here, no. Okay. 
to analyze the results of the, to observe Venus transits. Oh God! Based on observations of Venus, observations of Venus. comparing observations they don't necessarily compare it's just based on these different this guy these guys these guys and it does say s so that must be d oh, tricky okay let me go and now true false not given our favorite do they following statements agree observed one transit of the planet venus that's false he observed a num oh, hang on did he personally observe? He observed a transit of the innermost planet Mercury. The time and the transit two separately. He runs that one. It seems a strong. If, okay, well, I'm just going to use some mathematics. In 122 years, this probably takes a long time. There's no way one man can see it twice, so that must be false. Oh. It doesn't, doesn't explicitly say it. Teams or the... Okay. I'm using my knowledge. If that's not given, I'll be angry because you can work it out. If this is a hundred, okay. Anyway, we'll see. Le Gentil managed to observe a second Venus transit. Did he? Okay, if he did, then number twenty-two is not. Oh God! Okay. <laughs> this is tricky. I didn't get much sleep last night. Mr. L'Angentil, where is he now? He saw on. Observe the next transit in the Philippines. Okay. After traveling 50,000 kilometers, as we was clouded at the last moment, must have been within the same year doesn't necessarily mean Halley didn't observe. <sighs> so he didn't. He was clouded, at the, clouded out at the last moment. Therefore, he is false. But did Halley observe? We don't know. If he was able to do it, there's a chance that Halley did or could have done as well, and it's not mentioned here. The shape of Venus appears distorted when it passes. It stopped to pass in front of the sun. I think that's right. It looks smeared, not circular. Difficult to establish timings to cross the sun. It's smeared, not circular. So the shape looks distorted. That's true. Early astronomers suspected that the atmosphere on Venus was toxic. Gases, a thick layer of gases, but toxic. I don't think that's mentioned. Are we focusing on Venus? Parallax principle allows to work out how far away distant stars are from the Earth. Well, we said that's true because uh, extended to measure the distances to the stars. So that's true. So Venus was toxic. Um, Right, and the last one then. Our new research reveal how they think differently. Right, let's have a look. So this is the title. New a, a neuroscientist reveals how to th how to think. Sorry, 
how to think differently. Okay, in the last decade of revolution has occurred in the way to think about the brain. Revolution, the way to think about the brain. Firing patterns of neurons. Specific pattern. Did we study the main secrets to success in the economic environment? Brain can do this is an iconoclastic one, briefly an honor. Person who does something that others say can't be done. Okay. These are the type of questions I would not look at. I could look at only the questions, but not the distractors um, before you read. So, you study, field of study which seeks to, which tries to in this case. Okay, according to the writer, they are distinct because brain works efficiently because perception is a kind of thinker. According to the writer, uh, again, these ones are not good, true, not, not given, but let's have a look at these ones here. Complete each sentence with the correct ending. Thank you, for success is demanding because it. Social brain useful to cause acid because of their way of thinking. Right. And that's it, the white space. Okay, so let's read now. This is different, different from other people. The brain is different in three distinct ways. Perception, fear response, social intelligence. Each of these are a different circuit in the brain. Okay, but... I understand these constraints. We, okay. The first thing to realize is that the brain suffers from limited resources. Okay. For example, then thus mm, this happens at all at the same time. We think mm, perception. Mm, perception is central to see things differently to other people. Sometimes these short sentences uh, can be written. You know, with a semicolon, it's worth reading uh, the first two sentences. Either is one. Terms. The best way, that's a nice honey phrase. I remember things that I've never encountered before. The problem is it tends to treat the brain's fear system. But fear Okay, finally, social intelligence comes in. So it is for the people. In the past decade, Peru has revealed. Present perfect sometimes um, is to reveal some information. The current has created new opportunities in every area from artistic expression to technology to business. Asset. 
we saw that word asset. It's crucial. Change your asset. Where do we see that word asset? Generate an asset because they were thinking. Rules are important to them. Face alienation and failure, but can also be a major asset. It's crucial for success. In it. New opportunities in every area. They supply creativity and innovation, not accomplished by committees. That it might have been mentioned before, which I haven't noticed. Okay. <coughs> Six two tries to study the brain secrets to success in economic environment that demands innovation. Competitive fields. Economics, competitive fields, differently from competitors. See, distinctive because different three to perception, fear response, social intelligence create unusual different circuit in the brain. The brains function differently. Each of these functions utilize a different circuit in the brain. Be careful. Mm. Brains function differently. See things differently to other people. They don't fall into the efficiency pitfalls such as the average person's brain either it's because they are born that way through learning, or found out a way to work it out. Their brains function differently, they create unusual circuits. Unusual brain circuits, does it say that? Different brain. Sorry. Okay, no. Come on that one. I think that's trying to trick you. The physical workings of the brain place limitations on the way we make decisions.
All right. Um, B, okay, according to the writer, the brain works efficiently because it interprets not. Work as efficiently as possible. When confronted with information streaming from the eyes, it will interpret this information as quickly as possible. Draw on both past experience and other sources which will be obtained to make things somewhat of seeing relies on previous events. The writer says that perception is okay. What's this keyword? Perception is not simply a product of what the eye see or ears transmit to your brain. More than physical reality of profanum and sound waves, product of the brain. A reliable no. Combination no. Result of brain processes yes. Process we're usually conscious of now. Going to the right, an iconoclastic thinker. Successful willingness to be exposed to what is fresh and different. Embrace novelty while other most people avoid things that are different. Has more opportunity. Centralizes one part of the brain. Mm. Do not let inhibit their reactions. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to finish this. <laughs> wow. I think that's right. It could be. Has the brain that's hard right for learning? No. Has more opportunity than that? No. Which cognitive traps? B. <sighs> Exposure to different events forces the brain to think differently. In different events. <laughs> To see things that are to, to bombard the brain with things that never encountered before. Different events force the brain to think differently. But what do they mean by different events? What is this word? New events, maybe. What do they mean? I don't know what that means. Usually respect receptive to new experiences. Unusually receptive, true. Oh, yes, sorry. I think we are too shy to try different. Most people know that's a third of people. One third of people are scared. Oh, where does it say that? Their brains do not fall into efficiency platforms. That's uh, the one before. Yeah, we found it there. Pitfalls. Um, it said one third of people suffer from something so that's uh, not 
um, to try different things, but not as that's not given. It says one third are scared to talk in public. If you think in an iconoclastic way, you can easily overcome fear. Yes, because of money, our time. What when concerned about embarrassment? When concerned about embarrassment matters less, other fears become irrelevant. I've got four minutes. Um, public speaking, here it is. Affects one third of the population, but that's different things, okay. Other fears become irrelevant. I think that's not given because there's no mention about it. Uh, matters less. Well, it doesn't matter less. It's just they just mentioned it here, but it doesn't matter less. Fear of public speaking is a psychological illness. Is not. It is too common a variant. No. Oh, where is it? Too common to be considered a mental disorder. So this is no. Right. Thinking like a successful icon is demanding because it leaves one open to criticism and rejection. I think that's right. A major impediment to thinking that stops the average person. Two that are hypocritical are people who generally find difficult. Fear of uncertainty and fear of public ridicule. Uh, yeah, coming on. Any? Quickly, just come in. Yeah, I've got four minutes to go. I'll, I'll tweet you. Okay. Because uh, criticism and rejection, fear as and fear of public ridicule. Um, actual criticism or perceived criticism. Both. I think that's A because it's it's perceived, not actual. The concept of the social brain is useful to iconoclasts because it The concept of the social brain is useful to iconoclasts because I can't, I don't know where this is. I've got two minutes left. Social brain. Groups coordinate decision making. That's all I can see. B. And then we were stuck with this one. Understanding how perception becomes in a time of social decision making shows why it's successful. It's so rare. I have no idea. God, this is tricky. I think it's probably C artistic, oh, I don't know. To any organization, both artistic and scientific. Oh, I think that's C. Okay, so just in time, one minute to spare, um, and I will give you the answers in a second. Okay, um, now we've got the answers on the left over here. And uh, my answer's over here, and let's see how many I've got wrong, considering I had to rush at the end. So, H, the first one, which is good, and C is good, then B, A, now there's a mistake, medical conditions, which some people, uh, a list of medical conditions which place some children more at risk from noise than others. So a list of medical conditions, and that is, sorry, one, 
it is D, not F. So this is a medical condition. Uh huh. Med hearing impairment, autist, ADA, and ADHD. List of medical conditions, and I got it mixed up with. Okay, so this is the result of the uh, the result of the um, the genetic disorders, rather than the actual name of the medical conditions. So there we go. One mistake so far. The estimated sorry, the estimated proportion we've got A is correct. Now we've got two decades, that's fine. Crowd noise, which is fine. Invisible disabilities, which is fine. And objective three, that's correct. Okay. Now we go down to A and C, which is correct. And 13C, which is correct. Yay. All right. And now the next one. <coughs> F is correct. D is correct. G is correct. Uh, e is correct, and D and A is correct, and then B and C is correct. Thank goodness for that. Bit worried. Uh, especially uh, question 18. And then 22 is not given. And this is false. Okay. Let's. Uh, Let's go back to him. So Mr. Halley observed a transit. Nevertheless, he predicted, he predicted, so he He's talking about Mr. Halley or Mr. Kepler, so he had shown, so we're not talking about This is tricky, the past perfect here is talking about Kepler, but the rest of he, 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 he here is related to Halley worked out, so he didn't So that, I can understand why that is false, sorry about that um, False True, again not given Suspected that they suspected. Oh, I see. Of course, it's not given. So they may well have, but it's, it's not explicitly saying. One way to, to check with these not given ones is to make this into a question. So, did early astronomers suspect that the atmosphere was toxic? Now, now that I've made it into a question, if you can generally genuinely say don't know then that's not given. If you can genuine, genuinely say uh, no, then the answer is false. And of course here, there's no no to that question, so therefore it's not given. Um, something I should have done with these. And number six is true, 26 is true. All right, so we've got C is correct. But B is correct, but D is correct, C is correct, and B is correct. Only through um, removing the, the non-possible answers, that was the, the last one that was possible to do there. Okay, and on the question 30, 32. So we've got this, this one, another, this, um, I'm currently on eight, eight points out of nine, a native English speaking teacher 
of IELTS and I've got eight. It's very embarrassing. Okay, so again, does exposure to different events force the brain to think differently? Apparently the answer is yes. Now remember, I didn't like this word different. I don't know if they're referring to something else. Uh, if you can leave a comment um, as to what, what they mean by uh, number 32, because I understand if it's new events or events that you've never experienced before, then I would have put yes, but I had a problem with this word. So if you can find um, what they're referring to to get the answer clearly yes, I'll be happier, but I'm quite I'm not exactly convinced that this is a well-worded question. 33, I can't, I'm unusually receptive to new experiences. Yes, 34, not given. Okay, I'm close to 7.5 so far. If you think an, in an iconoclastic way, you can easily overcome fear. 35, no. If you think in a, can you... Easily overcome fear. Let's see if we can find this. Fear of uncertainty. One problem with them is that it tends to. Fear is a major impediment in thinking like an iconoclast and stops the average person in his tracks. Apparently it's no. Can you easily overcome fear? They have an extraordinary willingness to expose to what is fresh and different. They embrace novelty and avoid things that are different. <clears throat> 35, no. Can you easily have Where does it say they, they do still have fear? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Again, number 35, if you can find the, the, the place where this is correct, where no is the actual answer. Please leave it in the comments. Thank you. Uh, 36 not given and uh, 37 no and A, B and C. Okay, so uh, particularly tricky. Uh, the last reading I managed to finish um, with at least 10 minutes to spare, but these a uh, little just uh, from my point of view a bit tricky uh, ways of ask, asking the questions can or has caused problems. So Anyway, at least you are, you can be, rest, you can, uh, how can I say this, you don't feel so bad if you've got a poor remark in this reading, because even I only got, I only had four, um, four correct, no, you know what I'm trying to say, my brain is tired after this exam, so thank you very much for listening, and look Look up for the next reading, uh, maybe in about two weeks' time. Thanks.